I'd like to call the meeting to order for Monday, November 21, 2022. Please rise for the pledge. Ricky Hammond will lead us in prayer. Wait on Mr. Baltimore. Let us pray. Father God, I want to thank you for your word, your mercy, your grace. Father, I ask you to look out for our country, our city, our community, this board. Father, I ask you to build your hedge around our military, our police force, our, our firemen, our sick, and our caregivers. I ask this thing in your precious Son, Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Please show all present tonight, with the exception of Mary Claire Hopper. <clears throat> we have a quorum and can conduct business. Uh, first item on the agenda will be approval of minutes. I entertain a motion to approve the minutes from November, October 17, 2022. So moved. Motion from uh, Vanetta, second from Mr. Baltimore, or Coach Cole. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. Next item on the agenda is a notice of public hearing that will be held December 5th, 2022. Ordinance to amend the text of the Dysburg Municipal Zoning Ordinance to allow for off-site parking upon Board of Zoning Appeals approval. Uh, I need a motion to approve this notice of public hearing. A motion from Dennis Moody, second from James Baltimore. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed, motion carries. Thank you. Next item on the agenda, public hearing, a beer permit for Neil's Barbecue. Gavin Lambert, 470 Mall Boulevard, Suite A, Dyersburg, Tennessee, 38024. Chief. Thank you. A background investigation has been completed uh, for the applicant. Uh, the reason for the, the new permit is it's a change in, in owners. So we had to go through the process again. Uh, upon reviewing the background, uh, find no reason to deny for on-premise consumption for Neil's uh, Barbecue. Okay, all that information was, was in your agenda. Uh, the notice in the paper, uh, all the prerequisite requirements that have been done. You've heard the chief's um, approval, a recommendation to approve this. Is there a motion to approve this? Motion. Motion from Ricky Hammond, second. Second. Second from Edward Burks. This is a public hearing. Anybody here wish to speak to it? Seeing no, we have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. Next is uh, Mark and Sharon's Sports Bar. Mark D. Wetchland, 575 South Main Avenue, Dinesburg, Tennessee, 38024. Chief. Similar situation. This was the, uh, the former it was Saps um, at one time, uh, change in owners. Background investigation has been completed. I reviewed the, the application. Uh, this is for an on-premise consumption permit. Uh, I find no reason to uh, deny the applicant the beer permit for on-premise consumption. Okay, you've heard the recommendation. I'd entertain a motion to approve this. So moved. Motion from Banana, second. Coach Cole, also all that information was in your agenda as well. Um, I have a motion a second. This is a public hearing. Anybody wish to speak to it? <coughs> Seeing none, all in favor say aye. Uh, Those opposed, motion carries. Thank you, Chief. Uh, next item on the agenda, attorney invoice. You have two invoices, one from September, one for October. The one for September, the amount of that invoice is $1,965.35. And the October invoice is the amount of $1,368.75. I'd entertain a motion to approve both of those invoices. I so have a motion from James Baltimore, second. Second. Second from Dennis Moody. Any discussion on any one of these? Okay, all in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. Next item on the agenda, bids. Greg Williams, that was attached in your packet as well. We have um, nine bids tonight. The first one will take uh, board action, uh, Department of Wastewater Plant. Items of 
4,500-gallon tank and pump for sludge disposal unit, budgeted $32,200. Uh, biz from Minnesota AG short line specialist 38282 during the budget process the bump the pump was not included in the budget amount but it needs replacing also this is why the amount is more than the 32,200 that was budgeted uh, the total amount of the bid for uh, the tank and pumps 38,282 the recommendation is to award the bid to Minnesota AG short line specialist out of Mountain Lake Minnesota uh, and this will need board approval and it will come from the uh, water fund. I entertain a motion to approve that. So move. Motion from Dennis, second from Coach Cole. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, motion carries. <clears throat> Next item number two was a budget amount. Uh, police department records management software support does not need board approval. Number three, police department five, Dodge Durango police Pursuit SUVs was also budgeted. 200,000 was budgeted. It came in at 197,547.80. That does not need budget approval. It was in the budget. Uh, also, number four will need budget approval. This is for a Dodge Durango Police Pursuit SUV. The purpose to replace a vehicle that was damaged in an accident that was a total loss was not budgeted. The insurance settlement was $18,315. $18,315 leaving a balance of 21,194.56 that will come from the drug fund. Um, Columbia Chrysler Dodge, 39,509.56 well, was awarded the bid to replace the wrecked vehicle. I'd entertain a motion to approve this. Motion. A motion from Ricky Hammond, is there a second? Second. Second from James Baltimore, any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. The next items on the second page, number five, for solid waste was budgeted. Six IT department budgeted. Seven gas department was budgeted. Eight solid waste department and nine solid waste department were all budgeted items that came in underneath the budgeted amount. Any questions about any of those? Okay. Next item on the agenda, report from Alderman. Mr. Baltimore. I want to thank uh, the citizens of Ward 2 who uh, elected me back for another four more years, and I do appreciate the opportunity to serve them another four, four more years. And uh, I want to thank the West Tennessee Healthcare Hospital here in Dysburg, uh, uh, Dr. Lanier, and his staff. My mother-in-law was in the hospital and they took care of her very well. And they had to move on to Jackson and they moved on to Jackson. And, and I want to thank the Guy County EMS people who drove the ambulance and who were back there with her and took care of her and made sure she got there safe. And I appreciate them for that. Yeah, thank you. Hope she continues to improve. Edward? Coach Cole? That's, good. That's going to be a police department question. You're talking about inoperable yeah. vehicles on the street. Uh, I know the police department tags them, puts a tag on there. I don't know the number of days. I think it's 72 hours once they've been tagged. 72 hours once they've been tagged. 72. What happens after 72? Once they've been tagged. And if they're a hazard, if they're a safety hazard, they can be towed without a tag. Um, but if, if, if they're parked on the side of the road, they're not obstructing traffic, um, officer puts a, a, a ticket or a sticker on the vehicle, then they have those hours to get it moved. If it's not, then we follow up and have it towed. Yes, sir. Thank you. Anything else? All right. Megan? No report. Ricky? Uh, I also would like to thank the people in Ward 3 
Uh, looking forward to serving another four years. Uh, I was talking to Scott earlier about our street paving. It, it, it looks good. We, we've still got a lot. I, I, I think Scott said that's all for this, this time, for this year. But, uh, you know, we, we are making improvements. We do have a long way to go, but we, we are making the effort to get them done. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Dennis? Yes, sir, and I appreciate the votes in Ward 4 for another four years they put up with me. Uh, are the leaf machines back in operation there? Are we going to be back on a regular schedule? Yes, sir. We have both of them running. We actually had a crew that ran over this past Friday night, uh, stayed overtime to uh, pick up leaves, and also had a crew working Saturday as well. Okay, great. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Fanetta? Likewise, I'd like to thank the voters for allowing me to serve the next four years. I look forward to it, and I appreciate their trust in me. Um, a, a more specific matter, I believe Gloria Spence probably shared with all city employees and perhaps all of this board about uh, applications for the annual Goodfellas project where the local Kiwanis Club um, uh, delivers boxes of uh, food to families in need. The applications for those boxes are due by the end of this month. And so if anybody on this board or anybody in city government is aware of a family who could benefit from that and would like to encourage them to apply or, or uh, submit an application on their behalf, uh, they can do that. Um, pick up a, a physical copy of an application at Matthew 2540, or uh, Gloria or I can email one to you. Thanks. Thank you. Appreciate that. Likewise, I would uh, uh, like to appreciate or like to thank everyone that uh, re-elected me to serve a fifth term as mayor of the city of Dyersburg. I love what I do. I love this community, and I'm very thankful uh, for the opportunity to serve four more years. So thank you very much. Look forward to working with uh, these folks that are here. We're going to have one that's going to be leaving us. One will be joining us. Um, more to come on that. But, you know, we appreciate it very much. Let me make just a couple announcements. Uh, we've been posting on social media about the Thanksgiving week residential garbage pickup schedule. Uh, I passed these out to the aldermen and alderwomen tonight. <clears throat> so on Monday, November 21st, which was today, uh, Monday and Tuesday route was picked up. Uh, tomorrow, November 22nd, Wednesday route will be picked up. And then Wednesday, November 23rd, Thursday route will be picked up. So if you have any questions about that, give us a call or call 311. And we posted this four or five times on our social media platforms. Also, the city of Dysburg will be closed in observance of Thanksgiving holidays, November 24th and November 25th. That's this Thursday and Friday. Let me mention the Christmas parade will be the Monday night after Thanksgiving weekend, which will be November 28th. Then on November 26th, a small business Saturday when a big shopping event across the country. And again, we would urge folks to shop local, shop Dysburg, and uh, support our local merchants and businesses here. And with that, we're adjourned. Thank you.